Well, it was a devastating loss of a five-year-old boy in Detroit shot by a gun found inside a home. Right now, one Detroit family is coping with enormous grief. Police say the boy and his sibling were playing with an unlocked gun that they found, and investigators tell us their uncle, who was supposed to be watching them, was in the basement playing video games. The shooting happened last night inside a home near Oakfield and St. Martin's Avenue. That's near Seven Mile and the Southfield Freeway on the city's west side. 7 Action News reporter Kira Hay has the latest on the investigation. Just a heartbreaking story. Detroit police told us that the child was taken to the hospital, but unfortunately died unnecessarily after getting a hold of an unsecured weapon. According to Detroit police, a pair of siblings, six and five years old, were left in the care of their uncle. And apparently he was downstairs in the basement playing video games when the children found a gun. It went off and the five-year-old was shot in the eye. The six-year-old told the uncle, my brother is dying. Um, we need help. It was a neighbor who took the injured child to the hospital. Detroit police telling us the uncle is not cooperating and is currently in police custody. Right now we're trying to locate a weapon. We have not been able to recover a weapon at this time. So the investigation and search continues, as well as DPD's plea to all gun owners. Unfortunately, we're here again. Um, we have been at many of these scenes, and the message is, if you have a weapon, put it up, lock it, keep it away from the children. Um, unfortunately, parents and caregivers are not taking heed to that message. Last year, 67 children in the city were shot. And this year, that number is well into the double digits. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy is pushing for laws that will criminally charge parents for not properly storing weapons, but it's still in the legislator. So until then... We'll continue to keep delivering that message and hopefully one person will take heed and keep weapons out of areas where children can access them easily. We've covered these stories before, and every time both DPD and members of the community ask, when will enough be enough? Just as a reminder to all you gun owners out there, there are some places that give away free gun locks, and we'll post some resources for you on our website at WXYZ.com. In Detroit, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.